Hello, and welcome to the second day of looking at some of the memories of the end of season two. Some of the things that have taken place, I'm so excited. I, as I said yesterday, I just praise God that he's allowing me to see this vision uh, be played out, and age has nothing to do with it. Well, anyway, the vision is to utilize social media to showcase in various ways the significance of people guarding their spiritual heart and their significance as well as image bearers. Sometimes we play ourselves down, but God has a plan for each and every one of us. So I'm encouraged by this uh, young lady that I want to introduce to you. A memory will remind you who she is, it's Sister Ann, but it's a memory that still stays close to my heart. I've had the opportunity to talk to so many people, and I praise God for that. And I can't show everybody again, but please check them out. But this sister, I'm reposting because she reminds me of a scripture that's dear to my heart, Romans 8, 28, that all things work together for the good of those that love the Lord and called according to his purpose. It may not feel good, but anywho, COVID-19 didn't stop her. God gave her a vision and, and she's walking in it pressing in it in this time, and I'm just so grateful to God. And I'm saying all this to say that not only do I need encouragement, we all do. So encourage the sister and encourage one another, because I was looking at 1 Thessalonians 5 and 11, and it reminds us to, to encourage one another and build one another up. And in this celebration and boasting on what God is allowing me to do through Healthy Heart, I want you to check her out, this video I'm going to repost. Because she's walking this faith walk out, which it energizes and gives me even the more hope to continue to press. Because uh, faith and logic are two different things. It makes no sense at all. And she reminds me of the but gods in our life. If it wasn't for the Lord, but God, he has kept us. So this is one uh, highlight before one more. And then we're going to press into season Three, praise God. And next week, season three, I have some people that are close to my heart. Plenty of people, but these people said that they would and they volunteered. Or I, Well, anyway, they're going to on purpose speak a word, speak a word over a healthy heart. And I'm asking you, if you will, share, because I'm encouraging you to walk out what God has given you. So please enjoy and encourage one another. And I really appreciate your support. I appreciate your comments from yesterday. P share, comment again, because I'm being built up even the more to continue to press into this vision that God has given this sister. So, ta-ta for right now, but check us out tomorrow as well. So praise God and see you soon. You know, the Bible say, blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see God. And I just ask him to create in me a clean heart. Oh God, and renew a right spirit within me. Now, I'm not no preacher or anything, but it's all about purifying your body, keeping your heart clean, keeping your heart pure. Thank you, God, for keeping a clean heart in me. I ask for your blessing. Amen. King of kings, all time creator He can get you through whatever He the only one can save you Never leave you, never stray you Always kept food on my table Keep my heart pure, this my prayer Lead me so I can obey you It all start with what's around you What you feed your mind and body I watch the energy from people Keep the devil far from around me Conquer everything that's for you Love yourself, know that you're special Lean not on your understanding Let faith lead you, never settle God, he got a plan for you But your heart has to be clear Trust he won't never forsake you Always keep faith over fear Just know the battle not yours Keep on fighting if it's dark Cause he already won it If he's in you with a healthy heart